Changes brought in following the Royal Commission into Child Sexual Abuse were supposed to make it easier for survivors to seek justice. But many have found obstacles remain in their path. They talk about feeling um, re-abused and that they're the ones on trial, um, uh, that the defendants are using their power and their resources to put them through the ringer. Terry Martino advocates for survivors of child abuse, mainly in Catholic institutions. They're saying that the process is a long, uh, adversarial and traumatic. Uh, the Catholic Church came, claimed in model litigants, but the experience of survivors is far from that. The Catholic Church has been contacted for comment. Lawyers say some defendants are also causing long delays by requesting excessive or irrelevant documentation and it's a way for them to um, put pressure on plaintiffs and uh, it's a little bit of a war of attrition. That's not all defendants, but some, it seems to us, are um, behaving in that way. The Community Development and Justice Standing Committee will now examine the experience of survivors and the response of institutions since the state lifted the statute of limitations on abuse claims in 2018. Concerns have been expressed that perhaps some of the respondents in these cases are deliberately slowing down the passage of the cases to, in the hope that the victims will die. Lawyers for survivors want the inquiry to recommend ways to simplify and speed up legal proceedings to ease the burden on their clients. The inquiry will also look at how well survivors are supported in seeking justice or a resolution. Nick Perpich, ABC News.